Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have a scale model of an F-14 Tomcat. But this isn't any ordinary F-14, this is Maverick's F-14 Tomcat from the movie Top Gun. This is made by Ravel and is in 172nd scale. This also includes 20 parts, is recommended for ages 8 and up, and is also a level 2 scale difficulty. This is also part of their Easy Click system line, meaning that there is no paint, glue, or tools required. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, everybody, so I decided to pick this quick little build up today because, first of all, if you know me, I really, really love aviation. I am a big fan of airplanes. And also, the other reason why is because this is from the movie Top Gun. Now, I really like this movie, and I also just went to see the new Top Gun Maverick. And so I decided it would be really cool if I picked up something relating to Top Gun because I am a big fan of the movies. And this is, of course, Maverick's F-14 Tomcat. So this is Maverick's original plane that you flew from the original Top Gun, which is really cool because the F-14 is one of my favorite fighter jets of all time. And I am not a big collector of fighter jets, but I am a really big fan of the movie Top Gun. So this is perfect for me. And so taking a quick look around of the box here, here is the front of the box. And as you can see here, this is, of course, part of the Easy Click system, 20 parts. And there's also water slide and sticker decals. Here is the back of the box, there's some more specifications about the model, and more pictures of the plane. So let's go ahead and open this up. See, so yeah, it looks like there's just a piece of tape here, and let's take a look inside. And it looks like that is everything inside of the box. Okay, so inside of the box, we of course get our parts here, which is in this plastic bag. And we also have the instructions. Let's take a quick look at this, just go over it. And, oh, actually, I don't think they put these together. Okay, so they're just in separate pieces of paper here. And these should be really easy as well because they are, of course, um, just snap together pieces. And we also have our decals here. So included, of course, are some of our stickers. So these are just adhesive stickers that you can put on. And then you also have the option here too, which I'm gonna be doing, of water slide decals, which work a little bit differently than these adhesive stickers. These ones are almost like a glue that activates when you put water on it. And I think that this goes for a more realistic and longer lasting look uh, than these normal stickers here. So let's go ahead and open up this back here and take a look just a quick little overview of the pieces okay so here's the main back open look like we have this first part of the actual plane it looks like they're in two halves yes the fuselage is in two halves here, so this is really interesting. This is a very big molded piece, and it looks like it just snaps together easily, just like that. And inside, we also have more spruces of plastic, which is also in another bag, probably for protection. And, of course, we have the canopy and the stand as well. So, let's go ahead and get building. And one thing I forgot to mention as well is that it does say that there are no tools required and it is totally okay if you want to assemble your plane without any tools. It'll turn out the same way, but just for my own being, I am just going to cut these out just for a tad bit nicer look here off of these spruces. I always like to have these handy because they look a little bit more nicer once you cut these off rather than trying to peel them out with your hands. So I'm just going to be using this to cut my pieces, but again, if you get this kit, you can totally use it without it. Oh, and one more thing as well is that I am just going to be using this Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. So this is pretty much just a modeling glue for plastic bottle kits. Now, again, you can totally use it without it. This is totally not required. As you can see, you can just easily snap this in together like that and it'll stay there. Um, but just so that this can last a little bit longer for me, so it's a bit more stronger, I'm just going to go ahead and use this glue here. But you can totally use 
it without any of this cement here. I'm just going to be using it just so that uh, it is a bit stronger, but then yet again, you can use it without it and it'll totally look the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some cement where I see fit. Alright everybody, so I have finished Maverick's F14 Tomcat, and I gotta say, I have some mixed feelings on this build here, so I think overall, the building experience for a beginner would be really really great, especially if you don't have any tools to start out with. This gives you pretty much everything you need, uh, because of its easy click system, you can literally just snap it all into place, and you get this nice looking model here. Now, for beginners, and also what it actually suggests on the box as well, is a painting guide. So I think that the painting guide would go really, really well with this because as you can see, it is just all a, just this plain color of gray, which is the color of the F14, although it could be a bit better if you paint it. So they did have some painting guides here for uh, the engines on the back. They also had a guide for uh, the aircraft carrier uh, rod right here, and also just for the, I'm pretty sure that the these missiles are the A9 Sidewinders. I could be wrong though. I'm not an expert on weapons on fire jets, but I'm pretty sure these are aim nines. I could be wrong though, so please correct me uh, if I'm wrong. Um, but they also have painting guides for that, and as well as the cockpit. So I think that would look a lot, lot better if you just have a couple of basic paints. Um, I I wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you just do it with the decals and the kit itself. Uh, now I did have a little bit of problem here with the actual mold of the kit. So since this is an easy click system, uh, it pretty much just wants you to tear apart the pieces um, and the whole kit is actually molded like that. So this plastic does seem a little bit on the cheaper side just because um, the it's literally the same plastic that they want you to pull away with. So that's just a little bit of a problem there uh, that I had, especially with this crack in line right here. Um, you can see I definitely needed some sandpaper there, but I the only tools that I used was of course my spruce cutters and some glue for some uh, main component parts. But I think if you had a lot more professional tools, even for a professional modeler, this would also be just a fun little project to do to make this kit look very, very good. Now, I did have some technical difficulties with this, and mostly probably because I'm 
not the best <laughs> scale model or ever, um, especially since this is a, be a beginner kit. It's uh, a little bit funny because um, at the top here, I had a problems with some of these decals. I actually got a wrinkle in here and started to go over the top. And it was all raggedy and it looked way, way bad with the water slide decals. Um, so I decided it would be better just to have actually nice squares, even though it's a sticker, rather than to have all these squiggly decals here, which you can definitely tell the difference. It's a lot more shinier and it looks more like a sticker instead, versus where, where these uh, water slide decals, they have a sort of painted on look to them. Now, of course, I didn't have any decal solution on hand, which of course can make it look a lot, lot better, but it of course takes a lot more time. Uh, so I think just with the water slide decals, I think it is pretty good actually um, I just had that technical difficulty up here which is too bad now overall for the kit itself I'd say it's pretty good if you are a Top Gun fan or a beginner as well as I said before you pretty much have everything you need you just snap them together um, but just don't expect a perfectly awesome looking model uh, unless if you're actually using their painting guide and also if you're a professional to weather it and everything. I do have some Tamiya putty that I can fill in there or just try to uh, pinch together to make it look, look a little bit better. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like without any paint and what you just get in the box. And I think the coolest detail too is the swing wing feature. So just like on the real F14, uh, the wings can fold in and out. And so I think that is really awesome that they're able to replicate that with just literally just snap and piece pieces which I think is really really awesome I really like that feature and I think that's my favorite part about this model that you can display it both in the folded and as well as extended wing so that is really really awesome and the details and stuff are all accurate um, I would have just liked though a little bit more guides if you would say especially for more professional modelers like yes they did have uh, painting guides for the engines and as well as the cockpit so, oh yeah i also forgot to mention that too in the cockpit there are two pilots in there which i am guessing are supposed to simulate maverick and goose which is really cool i think you can paint them uh, their helmets accordingly which would be really awesome but in the painting guide uh, you're just making generic F-14 pilots, but I think you can definitely make it look like Maverick and Goose with their helmets, which will be really awesome. Um, I'll definitely have to try to gather a couple of Ravel paints. I only have some Tamiya paints, um, which I guess can work, uh, but they really do recommend the Ravel paints. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So overall, I give this kit a thumbs up. Definitely if you're a beginner, I suggest this. If this is your first kit um, that you just sort of want to know or feel, get your hands on a uh, scale model kit, definitely for sure. And even if you're a professional modeler, this would be a very fun project to try to paint up, weather it, and make it look really nice. Um, other than that, my only cons about this, of course, would be the plastic, which is not the best of quality because it's like a tearaway plastic. And the decals here, I actually had a problem with because it was supposed to be positioned down just a little bit more, but since there's such that big seam in there, it was a little bit hard, so I just decided to just put it on top of one molded piece instead. Uh, so overall, I give this a thumbs up, and here is the finished F-14 model. Alright everybody, so that was Maverick's F-14 Tomcat kit by Ravel. Now overall, as a beginner kit, I would say it's pretty decent, but just for, I think, some of the inconsistency with the plastic, that is one of the only cons and setbacks to this kit. But other than that, I definitely recommend this kit for beginners who are looking for an easy snap tight model, especially if you're a fan of Top Gun, I would definitely suggest this. And even to you professional modelers out there, which I am by means no professional modeler, I make a lot of mistakes, um, but I still think that this was a pretty nice looking kit in the end for a beginner level 2 kit. Um, but either way, I really really like this and I can't wait to go ahead and customize this and paint this a lot more too. Uh, because you have a lot of customization options with painting it up. And that is especially a tip for you professional models too. Is to try for a fun little project or idea to try to get one of these beginner kits and make it really really fancy. I think that would be a really really fun and cool project to work on. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like. And also, if you want to see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!